Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ability here, and in this video I'm going to be maging the entire Tank Panda set, which I can show you here. By the way, Dofus Lab is a set building website built by the English community, so if you haven't checked it out, you should check it out. The website is dofuslab.io. It's a very fast website and is great. So, the Panda set needs two 1% EXOs, an MPXO and an APXO. The APXO I believe I will be putting on the Anorai Shield, however I'm not dead set on putting the MP on the Barbaric Wedding Ring yet. But I did decide that out of all the mages that I'm going to do, I'm going to do one EXO at the start and then the other EXO at the end. So I'm going to sandwich all the items with both of the EXOs. I think I'm going to start with the Anorai Shield and I'm going to throw the AP on that since I'm pretty sure that I want the AP on the shield. So maging for a tank panda is pretty unique because the mages can be garbage and still work. Since tank panda does no damage, a lot of the stats on items just don't matter. So for this shield, the stats that I really care about are the lock and the melee resistance, the MP parry and the critical hits. I'm going to try and keep at least decent, like the minimums, but it doesn't really matter if they're not maximum or even good. Um, the reason that I want to keep the critical as minimum is for vulnerability, critting on that would be nice, and then MP parry, Tank Panda does a lot of positioning so MP will always help with that. However, around try 18, which is coming up here, I get an opportunity where the lock is stuck at 19 as you can see, and I try dropping it with MP parry and with crits but it just won't drop past 19 and I don't want to use a small rune. So I get a couple, I get one crit there, and then that looks fine to me. I hover over the lock and decide not to try it, and then BAM! I get the AP on the 18th try. So that was very lucky, and that enables us to move on to the next item. So for this ring I planned a water percent res XO, and on the final tank panda set I am missing 5% water resistance and 8% neutral resistance. So I planned on putting 5% water resistance on this ring and getting all of the water res on one item so that I could use the other items for more mages. However, because this is a PVM set and the panda also has another set, the crit chance set, I decided not to kill myself with the mages and uh, really put a lot of hard work into them. I mean, you're gonna see later in the video, the mages only go downhill. Trust me. And so, um, I was gonna settle for anywhere for from 3% to 5% water res on this. And here I get 5 tries, and out of the 5, 3% land, and boom, the MP lands as well. So because it was max critical hits, I decided to keep it, which was really nice. So on to the next item after that. So these boots are going to get a neutral res exo. I still need 2% water to complete my 5% exo to get 50%, but because these boots have a lot of sync to use, I'm going to put neutral on them since I still need 8% neutral, and hopefully I can get at least 4% on these. So here you can see I get 4%, I miscount the sync, but it doesn't really matter. And then I go for the MP after debating for a little bit because the stats are so bad. And <laughs> so... Don't judge me, it works. Next item. So for this amulet, I am going for the other 4% neutral that I need since there is an AP drop on it. So I'm looking to keep vitality high, however the vitality is untouchable past 455 and it is stuck at 475 for this AP drop. So I decide that I might come back and remage this, however I get 16 tries at neutral res. And as you can see, two have landed, three have landed, and four have landed. So I get a 4%, which would complete my neutral res. And the AP crits back, the vitality and initiative are both bad. However, I keep it. <sighs> Next. So now that you understand that I am PVM maging to the maximum here, you are in for a treat for the rest of this video because the items get much, much worse. So 
On this belt, there is a range for sink drop. I only need 2% water to complete my 50%. Um, however, will I even use the range for sync? You are going to find out. The only stats that matter on this are wisdom, vitality, lock, and resistances. A little bit of crit res and initiative. But uh, here you can see me trying to cheese it and... Oh! oh. <laughs> Next. So, Ermine's rolling pin is a resistance stacked weapon, which is why I'm using it. It has a range for sync, and most of the stats on it are important except for AP parry, although that shouldn't be garbage because AP resist will help a tank panda, and then critical hits as well. And critical hits don't necessarily have to be perfect, but up until this point my critical hits have been perfect on all of my items, so I kind of want to OCD it and make it perfect on this as well. So here you can see I drop the range. Um, previously I had been trying hunting runes because I planned to level hunter on all of the team members to try and make some commas, but until I actually level hunter I'm kind of holding off on that because I'm not sure if I'll end up doing that or not. So here the lock is perfect, the res is all perfect, and I had 7 extra sync there, and then I get 2 tries at raw vit, and the second one lands, and then the range crits back as well. So it's a 50 bit overmage, nothing insane, but it'll have to do. Next item. So originally on this Anorice cloak, I tried some MP runes, but it turned out to be very expensive to fix with all the percent res, and I ended up deciding to do a lock transcendence rune. Here I get it to almost perfect stats, I'm missing 1% crit, but that 1% crit brings my, uh, total crit percent down to 30%, so I debate it for a little bit and decide that it's good enough, and I hit it with the Transcendence Rune. A tank panda can always use more lock. I also tried to put MP on this Dragon Helmet because I don't actually need to exo drop it. To get 50% all, I need 13% neutral, 11% earth, 11% fire, 13 water, and 8 air just like this, and I wanted to get max 200 vitality so that I could use the 75 vitality transcendence rune. And here you see I almost use the MP rune, but then I decide that I'll just go for the max 200. I didn't want to transcendence rune it until it was maximum 200. So here I do plus 15 minus 13 to get exactly 200, and then I slap the 75 vitality transcendence rune on it to get the maximum amount of vitality possible with the lowest res that I need. So there's that. Next item. So at the beginning of this video, I told you guys that there were going to be some PVM mages in this video. That's just a fancy way of saying there's going to be some very, very bad mages. <laughs> and the past few items have not been that bad. I've been using transcendence runes on non-perfect items, which is bad, but they haven't been terrible. Um, so this ring is really going to prove my point that there are some PVM mages. As you can see, the footage is starting to slow down, which only happens when I'm about to exo, but it's missing so many stats, so why is it slowing down? So that completes the tank panda, and that is the first of six sets that I have to mage for this team. If you guys liked this video and want to see more, let me know, and I can do something similar for the rest of the sets. This has been Ability. See you next time.